And like this, it was a rotary thing that you will rotate. And every Wednesday, that's what they did. So they told me about the Wednesdays that that's what I should do. Because also in Mexico, to save paper, or because on those times I would just go to the magazine and when the guy told me, if we need a space like this, I would just take a paper that fit that size and I would throw it that size. And like this, they didn't have to make the pikas and reduce it and all that and just paste it up on the place. So many of the cartoons that I brought to the States, they were this size, this size, <laughs> completely different sizes, everything. So I had to draw them the same size. We were 8 by 11s, like every other cartoon. Just put a number on that back and, and, and bring it to the magazines. But I figured that if everybody goes Wednesdays, I'm going to go Tuesdays. <laughs> <laughs> so I went Tuesday to the magazine, and the secretary says, well, you have to come Wednesdays. I said, yes, I'm from Mexico. <laughs> oh, wait. So they will call the editor, and the editor will come out, and oh, come in, come in. They thought I was just. Visiting. <laughs> so I met mean, a lot of editors. And uh, they liked some, liked some, didn't like everything. So next Tuesday I was there, you know, I said, oh, you're still around. <laughs> I says, and until then, I shot, I says, you better start coming Wednesdays like everybody else. <laughs> and I did. But by then I had met personally the editors, and it was a more, more personal approach to, to things. So I think I, they became friends. And, I did a few sales to many of the, of the magazines. But many of those magazines have completely disappeared. And the fun part of the Wednesdays is that you will go meet the cartoonist, and after you did all the rounds, it was really exhausting. You'll go and have a beer or a drink or a dinner with them. And you, you knew them. You, you met all the cartoonists. And it was always a pleasure. And then they told me about the National Cartoonist Society. and I. I, when they say, hey, are you a member of the, of the National Cartoon Society? And I said, no. Why, how come? He says, well, I don't think I'm good enough. And the guy starts laughing and says, you, you're already selling too mad, and you, you are a professional. You should belong to the NCS. And when I joined, it was in the early 60s, I met the greatest cartoonists in the world, you know, like Rube Goldberg and Otto Sommelo, everybody that you saw. Uh, on the comic strips and in animation, I had that, that honor to meet people that I grew up with. And that was fantastic. It was uh, the greatest uh, thrill to meet all these people that you have met since you were like, five years old. So it, it, it was great. So, as they say, cartoon has been very good to me. <laughs> I uh, I be able to, to make a living out of it which I'm still doing what I did in the third grade. <laughs> now they pay me for it. <laughs> I don't quite too much change in still making silly things. You know. But uh, so I'm like, what? Oh, you read it and everything says, it's the fastest cartoon. I'm not the fastest cartoon. What happens is when you entertain people or you do a show, you have to do it fast so people don't fall asleep. <laughs> when, you, when you have a list of people, a, a line of people for autographs, so you do them fast. And because other artists will have to draw slow, so it's good. They take their time. But when they go to me, it's, they, well, after you need them, of course, so I go like this. I've done it a million times. <laughs> <laughs> so people see it first time, oh, he's the fastest. So once somebody puts it on, a, on an article, every other reporter reads it and copies it and says, he's the fastest, without <laughs> asking why they say that. <laughs> so, and now every time they do an article, he says, I'm the fastest. OK, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but that is because I did also television. And I was live on, on television, and I had to be fast. <coughs> We did a show called uh, <laughs> well, Speak Up America. And Speak Up America was a, a, a show that they had a machine called the Cube or something like that that was in homes. And 
then they have questions and answers, and then they will ask the audience at home, what do you think about gun control? And they have a yes and a no. So every, about 10,000 homes all over the country have a little machine, and they will press yes or no. And then I, I was there live, and the, and the, 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 the uh, director, the, the, the producer, will all the master ceremonies will ask, and Sergio, what, what, you know, what's your opinion? So I have a little thing here, because they were waiting to tabulate all the answers. So I have a few seconds to draw, and then they will go 10, 9, 7, because they have the, the answer. So I will have to finish the drawing. So I have to draw it pretty fast. So also, you have to draw fast for television, because you can spend too much time Doing it, you know. so that also helped the image of being fast. And uh, when you do animation, you have to stand. You start a lot of time because it takes a long, a long time doing animation. You have to, as, as you know, uh, you have to do 24 cartoons per, per frame, and uh, so for. Sometimes when, when you have an arm like this, and then the arm has to be here pointing like this. So all the animators, and we have among us a very good animator from Raul Garcia, which is work, the best, one of the best cartoons that we ever had. And uh, so don't make fun of that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so they have to, to calculate how long it will take to go like this. So they have a, a little watch, and they go click, click. And they can't have many, how much parts of a second. Let's suppose that it went one second. So now they have to do 24 drawings. So they have to, they have to know that drawing here is number 12, and this number is 24, and it's number one. So now they need 12 drawings. In, in television, they cheat. They make like 12 drawings per per second, so, but in real good animation there was 24 because there was 24 frames per second. So the guy here has to draw number six, and number, see, and like that. And around here, they will have to start changing the position, so when it's right here, it's almost like that, and when it's here, it's like that. So there's a lot of work, a lot of work involved. And they have a lot of people, and they're very conscious, and they move it around at a certain speed because you cannot go to like a robot one second and second because the whole second maybe is divided into half a second here and three quarters of a second so it's certain speed so it's very complicated but the more they do it the better so that has taken a lot of people a long time and if you want to have fun when you take take a book or probably you did when you were a kid and you, you make a, a little hand like this in one page, and then the other hand you go like this. And then when you go like this, the hand goes <laughs> And you could swear that it's moving, and there's a lot of fun. It's like when you're a kid and you draw a parachute dropping on the book, and you go like this, and the parachute goes all the way to the bottom. If you haven't done it, do it now. <laughs> <laughs> Take your book and start drawing a little parachute in every page, and, <laughs> and it will fall all the way to the bottom. You do your first animation. So. But animation is, uh, I, I did uh, a show called uh, TV Bloopers of Practical Jokes. And, uh, and the budget, budget was very bad. And they needed it next Monday. So I will go to a meeting Friday. They will tell me what they needed. Then I'll go home and draw it, and they'll have it Monday. Photographed and everything. So it was a. Uh, when I ask people and in the animation studios, they always get, well, we'll take a couple of weeks and then you'll have that, that time. It's not I need it Monday. <laughs> <laughs> so there I, I got a gentleman called Lee Mishki who helped me with that animation and that. I drew every frame and then bring it to him the same day, same Friday, and then he will correct it, take some drawings off because I used to make too many drawings. He will time it. And then Friday night it will be taken to the Xerox. Colored and then photographs uh, Sunday, 